Pluto is a far-off and secretive midget planet that was once an individual from our planetary group's planetary family. Anyway, late alarming declarations by driving astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson and MIT's Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning disclosure. They recommend that this frigid world is on a potential crash course with Neptune. Yet how might this at any point occur? And what might be the outcomes of such a gigantic occasion? Are we seeing an interesting cosmic peculiarity? Or is there something else to this looming vast crash? Join us as we investigate the conceivable outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune influence. Pluto, a previous planet that was downgraded to a midget planet mostly because of its exceptional circle, remains a subject of interest and concentrate on in the galactic community. According to late forecasts by driving researchers, Pluto's direction is hazardously near Neptune's. Driving astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the warning of a potential risky impact between these two planets that could be an immense danger to Earth. How is such an occasion indeed even conceivable? Pluto's excursion around the Sun is not normal for some other planet in our planetary group. It takes a faltering 248 years to finish a solitary circle, meaning that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't indeed even completed one full unrest. Yet the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's way is set apart by its exceptionally circular shape, veering off fundamentally from the close to round circles of the major planets. What compels Pluto's circle even more impossible to miss is its tendency, calculated at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows is much more extreme compared to different planets. This tendency and curved nature add layers of intricacy to its orbital example. One of the most charming parts of Pluto's circle is its crossing point with Neptune's way. For around 20 years in each circle, Pluto really draws nearer to the Sun than Neptune, opposing what we may anticipate from their situations in the Sun-based framework. This prompts the regular question, why hasn't Pluto slammed into Neptune? The response lies in the gravitational impacts of other planets. The investigation of Pluto's circle began not long after its discovery. At first, cosmologists attempted to grasp its special direction, not at all like the other planets, whose circles lie somewhat near the ecliptic plane. Pluto's way stood apart with its lofty tendency and curved shape. The secret developed with the acknowledgement that Pluto's circle as a matter of fact crosses Neptune. The security of Pluto's circle in the midst of these intricacies is confirmation of the complexities of space mechanics. The three-body issue in space is tied in with sorting out how three items in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like attempting to anticipate where they will go in light of where they start and how they pull on one another. For Pluto's situation, this issue shows how its way, Neptune's way, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a mind-boggling manner. The terms alpha libration and scope libration, alongside the VZK wavering, are part of this riddle. As indicated by astrophysicists, what's keeping all planets in their circles is a peculiarity called alpha libration. With regards to Pluto and Neptune, this term truly intends that at the point when Pluto crosses Neptune's circle, it's situated somewhere around 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial detachment is pivotal in keeping their ways from impacting. Scope libration, on the other hand, alludes to the vertical development of a heavenly body in its circle. For Pluto, this implies that when it comes nearest to Neptune or some other Goliath planet, it's arranged essentially over their orbital plane giving an extra layer of security from potential impacts. Another vital part in this situation is the V's case swaying, named after three researchers, Bon, Zippel, Leo, and Kai, who concentrated on how things move in space. It's about how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on one another with their gravity. This pulling influences how they move. For Pluto's situation, VZK helps us comprehend the reason why its way around the Sun is so strange. Despite the fact that Pluto's way appears to be out of control, this wavering aids keep it moving easily from now onward, indefinitely. The VZK swaying shows that regardless of whether things in space appear to be wild and irregular, 
A few examples and rules keep everything all together. These parts help keep Pluto's circle stable, ensuring it doesn't collide with Neptune or get tossed off kilter. This three-body issue makes a difference in understanding how these waves change on account of the manner in which these space objects pull on one another. Concentrating on this makes a difference as find out about Pluto, our planetary group, and far-off universes and their stars. Mathematical recreations in the last part of the 1980s uncovered that in spite of these stable properties, Pluto's circle is actually tumultuous, with minor deviations and beginning conditions prompting huge contrasts over millions of years. Anyway, these special properties of Pluto's circle have been found to keep up with dependability over unbelievably lengthy timescales, really keeping the disarray under control. Ongoing PC tests have assisted us with grasping how the huge planets, like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, influence Pluto's way around the Sun. Neptune has an exceptional association with Pluto, where for each two rounds Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This association helps keep Pluto's way consistent. Yet Neptune isn't the only one to focus on. Helping Jupiter's gravity likewise plays a huge part in protecting Pluto's circle. What's more, Saturn helps altogether too. These tests show that Jupiter's gravity alone is sufficiently able to ensure Pluto stays on a steady way for a truly prolonged stretch of time, even billions of years. So, it resembles Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are cooperating to ensure Pluto continues to move securely in space without running into inconvenience. These peculiarities are fundamental in the setting of the universe for keeping up with the request and consistency of room bodies' developments. Without these components, the planetary group, as we probably are aware, would be a position of a lot more prominent confusion and eccentricism. Bodies like Pluto might actually slam into others or be catapulted from their stable ways, prompting a cascading type of influence on other divine bodies. For Pluto, particularly with discusses it perhaps colliding with Neptune later on, understanding its circle is truly significant. This gives us a more clear image of the planetary group's dynamic nature. The instance of Pluto illustrates how even the most apparently unsound circles can accomplish a condition of balance through the complex interchange of gravitational powers and orbital mechanics. It likewise shows the significance of ceaseless perception and investigation of these peculiarities to more readily get a handle on our spot in the universe. Investigating the profundities of room frequently drives us to go up against the capricious idea of divine bodies, and Pluto's circle is a perfect representation of this unconventionality. The idea of orbital disarray, which alludes to the delicate reliance of a divine body's way on its underlying conditions, is strikingly shown in the instance of Pluto. This implies that even slight varieties in the bantam planet's position or speed can altogether shift its drawn-out course in the immense span of our nearby planet group. Pluto involves an exceptional place that challenges how we might interpret planetary order and elements. Since its revelation in 1930, Pluto has gone through broad review, prompting critical disclosures about its synthesis and conduct. Quite possibly of the most captivating highlights of Pluto is its surface— which is an intricate embroidery of ice, rock, and different mixtures. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, gave uncommon information about this far-off world. The outer layer of Pluto is portrayed by huge fields, fueling mountains and profound valleys. One of the most eminent elements is the Sputnik Planum, an immense heart-formed plane that is essentially made out of nitrogen ice. This region grandstands a different cluster of geographical elements, including enormous chunks of ice and what give off an impression of being streaming glacial masses. The presence of these highlights demonstrates that Pluto might in any case be geographically dynamic, regardless of its perfect distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another captivating viewpoint of Pluto is its climate, made predominantly of nitrogen with hints of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's environment is slight, yet it displays captivating occasional varieties. As Pluto approaches the sun in its prolonged circle, its air can grow and contract. This powerful way of behaving is an impression of the perplexing relationship among Pluto and its current circumstance. 
during its nearest way to deal with the sun. Some of the barometrical gases might freeze out onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate once more into the climate. The connection between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, likewise adds intricacy to the framework. Charon is moderately enormous, contrasted with Pluto, with a width about a portion of that of Pluto itself. This size proportion implies that both bodies are in a common circle around a point in space that lies between them, as opposed to Pluto essentially pivoting around Charon. This extraordinary relationship adds to the gravitational elements in the area, impacting the circles of different articles in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a locale past Neptune populated with little frosty bodies, is home to numerous other bantam planets and potential impactors. This belt is a supply of old material from the early planetary group, giving researchers a brief look into its development. Pluto's orbital attributes may offer bits of knowledge into the relocation examples of these far-off objects, recommending that connection with bigger planets might have played an essential impact in shaping. Pluto, in all its mystery and intrigue, continues to captivate astronomers and enthusiasts alike. Its orbit, composition, and interactions with other celestial bodies offer insights into not just its own behavior, but the dynamics of the solar system as a whole. Despite being demoted from full planet status in 2006, Pluto has remained at the forefront of space research, especially after NASA's New Horizons mission in 2015 revealed the dwarf planet's fascinating terrain. New findings, such as the potential existence of a subsurface ocean on Pluto, have added even more excitement to the scientific community. If confirmed, this discovery could reshape our understanding of which celestial bodies may host conditions that support life, even in the farthest and coldest regions of the solar system. The New Horizons spacecraft also found that Pluto's atmosphere undergoes significant changes as it moves along its elongated orbit around the Sun. These changes, including the possible collapse of its atmosphere when it's farthest from the Sun, provide an excellent opportunity to study atmospheric dynamics under extreme conditions, helping scientists better understand weather patterns not just on Earth, but on planets and moons across the galaxy. The Kuiper Belt, home to Pluto, is another major area of interest. This region beyond Neptune contains many icy bodies that are remnants from the early solar system. Understanding the formation and behavior of these objects helps to shed light on the origins of our own planet and the larger cosmic environment in which Earth formed. In addition to Pluto, other dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt may also hold clues to the history of the solar system. The possibility of future missions to these distant objects has astronomers excited about what they may discover next. Each new piece of data about Pluto and its fellow icy worlds pushes the boundaries of what we know about planetary science and space exploration. Ultimately, the study of Pluto and other celestial bodies in the outer reaches of the solar system reinforces our understanding of the universe as a dynamic, ever-changing place. Whether through the continued exploration of Pluto, the Kuiper Belt, or other distant worlds, the quest for knowledge drives us to look further and dig deeper, unraveling the many mysteries that still remain beyond our home planet. In the grand scheme of the universe... Pluto serves as a reminder of how much we still have to learn. Every discovery about this dwarf planet challenges our assumptions and encourages us to continue exploring the furthest reaches of space, where countless other secrets are waiting to be uncovered.